Good morning, Mr. Simon. Ask you to please stand and raise your right hand. Just one second. Do you affirm to tell the truth? Yes, I do. You do? I do. All right, thank you. Please have a seat. Please state and spell your name. Dale Simon, D-A-L-E, last name S-I-M-O-N. Dale Simon, called as a witness by the government, having been first duly sworn, was examined and testified as follows. Your witness. Thank you, Your Honor. Good morning, Mr. Simon. Could you tell the jury how old you are? I am 38 years old. Are you working? Yes, I am. What type of work do you do generally? I'm in the music and music film industry. Mr. Simon, can you draw your attention to, I think the mic, I'm working on it. Since you're in the music industry, you know about microphones, right? Yes. Play around with it until your voice is perfect. I'm working on it. Directing your attention to August 9th of 2000, did you go out that evening in Manhattan? Yes. Where did you go? I went to a club called Envy, a nightclub on Spring Street and Varick. And do you remember what time you got to the club that evening? About 12.30 at night, 12.30 a.m. And did you end up leaving? I guess it would be the morning of the 10th in August of 2000? Yes. What time did you leave the club? About 3.30. Did you see anyone you recognized when you left? One friend, one friend of mine called Peanut. Do you know his real name? At that time, no, we didn't. We just, you know, basically saw each other at the clubs and we knew each other from the music and a couple of videos. We didn't really have a name to name basis. We just knew him by his nickname. I'm going to show you what's already been entered into evidence as Government Exhibit 808. Do you recognize either of those people? Just one person, the guy to the right, which is Peanut. And you said you knew him from the music industry, is that right? Yes. And from videos? Yeah. Why is that? I think at the time he was dating Lil' Kim and she was basically had him in two or three videos at that time. And he was basically moving around as her boyfriend. So we kind of assumed that he was in the music industry due to the fact that he was so frequent with her. Did you talk to Peanut that evening? Yes, I did. And where did that take place? That happened actually outside of the club right before he was shot. Now, when you spoke to him, was he, was he outside? Can you just describe where that conversation took place? I happened to leave the club. I was waiting for two of my friends that were still inside of the club and I parked on Spring Street waiting for him to come out. At that time, I noticed that Peanut at that time was driving the same car that I had. He had a Range Rover, a green Range Rover. So he pulled up in front of me and, you know, he nodded me like I'm here. I said I hadn't seen him in a long time. So he kind of like pulled up in front of me in this little space that was in front of another car. Kind of like a, it wasn't a real space. It was more like a slot where you could just like put your nose in but not really park so he pulled up in front of me and I got out of my car to have a conversation he was still sitting in the car and I was talking to him through the driver's side window on the sidewalk what happened then then three shots I heard three shots and I kind of ducked to the left side of the wall where the club was and hopped in my truck and that's when he pulled off and halfway down the block I noticed that his car had flipped over Mr. Simon, I'm going to show you what's been entered already into evidence as 801I. Do you recognize this photo? Yes. Can you tell us what this is a photo of? This is actually the block of the club. The club is on the left-hand side, and I believe that's actually Spring Street that I'm looking down. Okay. And if you touch the screen, okay, you can actually show us if you think... If you could show us about where your car was parked, where you saw Peanut on the morning of August 10th, 2000. Okay, my car is parked on the left, right here. 
that's where my car is and then his car was parked pulled up in front of that car so in that space right there is there a reason why your car was parked there at that time yes because there's a door to the club that the vips leave through that door that's in front of those cars you can mark the door so the door is right here that's the vip door is there a separate entrance to the club as well yes there's another entrance on this far side more to the left and would that be hudson yes that would be hudson there's a door on hudson also from what we're seeing you said this is spring street is that right yes that is when you said you were talking to peanut you said you were in the driver's side window yes was anyone else inside the car no he was by himself were you facing him through the front or to the side i was you can demonstrate well i was actually in the window with my side facing down spring so my back is to hudson okay so to be clear your back is to that corner that we see here yes now when you heard the you said three gunshots where were they coming from from the back of me that would be hudson yes and at the time you heard the gunshots what did you do i actually moved over into that corner that's right here there's like a little crevice there's crevices in those corners that you can actually stand so i kind of moved over to that left until i could get to my car what did you see peanut do by that time he had already pulled off from the he screeched off from the sidewalk when you said screeched off what do you mean like he pulled off very fast very 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 fast and once you saw him pull off then did you go to your car yes i did and what did you see then what did you do then everybody was kind of in a you know in a scurry for the shots so i was kind of at the time my friends were still waiting we're in the club but they came out at that time like when they heard the shots we all hopped in the car and then we tried to get off the block but by that time you know the accident had already happened so we couldn't go too much further and i also stopped to make sure he was okay at that time he meaning who peanut okay and did you see the car flip at that point yes i did now using that photo generally can you tell us where that happened yes i'm still in my car here and he flips here and you remember what street corner that was i want to believe that's actually better i can corner of eric and what happened once you got to that location he was hanging out the window and there were people trying to rob him at that time did you rob him of what he had his jewelry his watches you know he had a lot of expensive things on that night so as he's halfway out the window people are trying to take his watch and jewelry off now at that time what time would you estimate this incident occurred i know it's been a long time but at the end of the club night i want to say around four o'clock a.m a.m in the morning the corner of spring street and hudson was it crowded at that time yes from the club goers yes from the club goers and at that corner where you saw the car had ultimately crashed was it crowded there as well yes it had it wasn't crowded at first but by the time i got in my car and drove to the scene it was extremely crowded let me show you government exhibit 801a do you recognize that photo yes and what's that a photo of that's a photo of actually the corner of sixth avenue and spring but it's from it's from the actual it's from it's actually the picture but closer now that it's closer now and is that where the crash happened that you saw yeah close to maybe a little higher maybe a little closer maybe in the middle of the block not so much right there maybe closer in the middle of spring because this is the actual corner of closer to sixth. and just getting back to when the actual shots were fired mr simon 
were you able, you said you were still in the window talking to Pina. Is that correct? Yes. And did you see at that time whether he was shot? No. When did you realize he was shot? After he flipped his car over, I realized he was shot. Can you explain why? It was just, the gunshots were so fast, you know. There's really no time to think. And from the gunshots to the time that he pulled off, could have been less than a minute. Like, it was instant. From the time he got, from the time you heard the shots, to the time that he pulled off from the corner, it seemed like no time elapsed. It was at the same time. Just heard the shots, automatically ducked and got to my car. And as I'm more focused on getting to my car, he's pulling off. When you were standing in the driver's side window, were there other people around the car at that time? No, but because of the type of cars that we were driving, of course, there would be people looking at us. We had two Range Rovers at that time that were brand new. Meaning your and his Range Rover. There were two Range Rovers. I didn't hear that. There were two Range Rovers. Can you read the answer to that? Wait, this is unorthodox. What is it that you're questioning now? You have an objection? No, I just didn't hear what he said. He didn't hear what you said. I said that our cars were very, very popular because they were two brand new Range Rovers. I had the same color that he had that year. That's what made us stop and talk to each other outside the club. Just to clarify again, when you were talking to Peanut facing east, I guess, on spring, is that correct? Uh-huh. Where did you believe the shots were fired from? They had to be fired from here, from the corner. They had to be fired from the corner. Why do you say that? Because I'm still alive. Because where he got shot and where I'm speaking to him, there's nobody in front of us. He was shot from the back while I'm talking to him because nobody approached us. The shots came from the back of me. I know that for a fact. And no one was near the car immediately at the Range Rover you were talking to. Is that right? No. Thank you so much. What club is this again? Club Envy. Envy? Yes, Envy. Where is that located? That's in Manhattan, Spring and Varick. On the corner of Spring and Varick? Varick Street, yes. Your witness. Thank you.